biodiversity hotspots are regions that are both biologically fertile, rich distribution of plants and animals, and highly threatened. In other words, such biogeographic regions are very productive and are constantly exposed to threats of destruction which warrant the need for them to be protected. Examples of biodiversity hotspots are forest habitats as they constantly face destruction and degradation due to illegal logging, pollution and deforestation. According to Meyer's 2000 edition of the Hotspot Map, a region only qualifies as a biodiversity hotspot if it meets two criteria. First, it must have at least 0.5% to 1,500 species of vascular plants as endemics, those found nowhere else. Secondly, it must be threatened coupled with a loss of at least 70% of its primary vegetation. Approximately 36 regions around the world qualify as biodiversity hotspots and they support just about 60% of the world's bird, a reptile, mammal, plant, and amphibian species, with the majority of these species as endemics. According to Wikipedia, biodiversity, a portmanteau of biological diversity, generally refers to the variety and variability of life on Earth. According to the United Nations Environment Programme, biodiversity typically measures variation at the genetic, the species, and the ecosystem level. Why are biodiversity hotspots important? The diversity of plant and animal species in the world as a whole are the most essential units of Earth's life support systems. Below are the two major reasons defining the importance of biodiversity hotspots on Earth. Biodiversity is the building blocks of all life on Earth with a myriad of diverse species. Life on Earth is made possible as they create an intricate system for biological interaction and a balanced ecosystem, also known as functional ecological communities. The grand species diversity ensures natural sustainability for all forms of life. Without species in a balanced ecosystem, for instance, there would be no food to eat, no diversity in genes, no air to breathe, or no water to drink. It therefore means that without biodiversity, human would equally be non-existent because biodiversity hotspots are vital for human survival. The map of hotspots extraordinarily extends beyond the map of the natural areas that most benefit human populations. Biodiversity hotspots qualify as one of the most crucial and richest ecosystems in the world as they are home to countless vulnerable human populations who are directly rely upon nature to survive. For this reason, the hotspots serve as the best natural places that most benefit people.
Apart from making up about only 2.3% the Earth's land surface, wetlands, forests, and other ecosystems in hotspots make up 35% of the vital ecosystem services that vulnerable human populations rely upon. Ecosystem services include aspects that contribute to climate stability, nutrient recycling and storage, pollution breakdown and absorption, protection of water resources, ecosystem maintenance, recovery from unpredictable events, and soil protection and formation. World's 10 Most Threatened Biodiversity Hotspots Anthropogenic activities have contributed to rapid extinction rates, especially due to habitat destruction. The few that are still left, mainly the ones with richness in terms of species, genes and ecosystems, also constantly face destruction. Here are 10 of the world's most threatened biodiversity hotspots. Atlantic Forest, Brazil Paraguay, Argentina, Uruguay The Atlantic Forest is a hotspot that covers the Brazil's Atlantic coast and extends to parts of Uruguay, Paraguay and Argentina. The hotspot boasts about 20,000 plant species, 8,000 which are endemic. It is also home to almost 950 birds and many other endangered species. The black-faced lion tamarin, for instance, is among the many adversely endangered species in the Atlantic Forest. The Atlantic Forest Biodiversity Hotspot originally covered more than 1.2 million square kilometers. But coffee and sugar plantations have destroyed the forest, leaving less than 100,000 square kilometers. The remaining habitat is just about 8%. The mounting pressure of fresh water supply, cattle ranching and urbanization which increases the demands for manufactured products are as well contributing factors for the continued ravaging of the forest. The predominant vegetation type here is tropical, subtropical moist broadleaf forests. Polynesia Micronesia Southern Pacific Ocean The Polynesia Micronesia hotspot covers an area of about 41,200